Hello and welcome everybody. I hope you had a really nice Christmas and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to continue with another part of Computer Parts Explained series and we'll be talking about power supplies. Power supply, or in short PSU, or power supply unit, is what delivers an electricity to all of the components in your computer. Before we continue though, let me get one thing out of the way. And I only need to mention this because I really noticed that people don't think about it too much or don't give it much thought. So here is this. Power supply unit is arguably the most important component in your computer to get right. Why you might ask? Well, an excellent question. Well, the power supply takes a highly unstable and fluctuating uh, electrical current from your socket in your wall okay, and converts it to an extremely stable electrical current. How extreme is that? Well, let me illustrate it with that example. It needs to be that your current that your power supply will output will need to be in the magnitude of 0 0.01 volts that a hundred of a volt to be able to run your computer stably. That's how precise and that's how extreme the conversion needs to be. And more importantly, it needs to do it 24 seven, forever, you know, for entirety of its lifespan. And what happens if it doesn't? If it hiccups one, it might just literally fry every single component in your PC, every single of those expensive, components that you bought with your hard-earned money will be gone in an instant, fried. All you will see is a cloud of like bluish smoke and it will be like poof and gone. And there you go. That's why it's so important to get this part right. So here is possibly the most singularly important tip I can give you. Always buy a well-known brand PSU. Always. With that out of the way, there is not really much else to explain about power supplies because their inner workings are actually incredibly complex. So um, let's just get to the meat of it, okay? How do you choose a good PSU? Well, to choose the PSU, you first need to calculate how many watts of power you will need. In other words, you would need to calculate how much power will every single component of your computer will draw. And we're not talking here only a processor or a graphics cards because obviously those are the biggest ones. We're talking about fans, water cooling, hard drives, LED lights, you know, RAM memory, motherboard, everything takes energy. So you would need to calculate that. It is not exactly a rocket science, but it can be a little bit painstaking if you need to research every single component separately on the manufacturer's website and see, you know, what takes how much power and then add it up. Fortunately for us, there are some handy online calculators that will do all this work for you. All you'll have to do is just to go to a website and, you know, put, you know, what sort of processor you're using, what sort of graphics card, how many, you know, HDDs, how many SDDs, etc, etc. And then calculate the, you know, hit the calculate button and that will be all. Actually, I will use, you know, that problem, like the video description down below, and I'm going to put the link there to one that I personally use and I find it really good and accurate. Another thing to consider is, does the size really matter? Does it? Well, it only does when you have an extremely small case, like if you would have, a, for example, a mini ITX case of like the smallest proportion, you might actually be, have to get like a sort of like a mini ITX, uh, power supply, right? But otherwise than that, pretty much every single power supply will fit into every single case. Uh, the width of the power supply will always be the same and the height of the power supply will always be the same. The only thing that will change will be the depth or, well, the length of the power supply. And that might be an issue in some cases, so you probably need to check with your manufacturer's website to see you know, your case manufacturer will list the maximum length of a power supply. And when you buy a power supply, the length of it will be always listed too. So you just need to look at this, whether it fits or not. But you know, in most cases it will fit. 
Another common misconception or myth is that a, for example, 500 watt power supply will deliver you 500 watts of power. This is simply not true. And here is a simple math to show you why. The keyword here is efficiency or how efficient your power supply is. So let's take a look at, um, for example, I don't know, uh, Be Quiet Dark Power Pro 10, a 1200 power, watt power supply. This power supply is actually really good and it has an efficiency of 93%, which is, by the way, absolutely brilliant. It's very, very good. Now, it has a nominal power of 1,200 watts, and you would be forgiven to think that it will deliver you 1,200 watts of power, but it won't. It will deliver you 93% of that power, so 1,112 watts of power. The rest will be just expelled in heat. Now, let's compare it to a non-brand, sort of generic, cheapo 1200 watt power supply. The average efficiency of that kind of power supply, and if you're lucky, will be about 60%. That means that of this 1200 watt power that is, you know, nominal to it, it will only deliver 720 watt of power. The rest will be just waste, just heat, you know? Just think about it, good power supply, 1,112 watts of power, generic power supply, 720 watts of power. And, you know, it, it, when you look at the power supplies that have, you know, lower nominal wattage, like for example, 450 or 500 watts of power, it is actually really crucial that you get it right because, you know, you might have like a, I don't know, GTX 960 with an i5 processor that will require you, you know, to have a PSU that will have 300 watts of power, you know, you will take 450 of a good brand, it will, you know, it will be efficient and sufficient enough always to be able to run it stable. You take a, a generic one and you might not be that lucky. Lastly, let's look at the pre-bundled PSUs, okay? Those are the ones that come with the cases. In most cases, I would totally, totally advise you not to get one of those bundles unless we're talking about a really well-known brand like for example Antec sometimes delivers their own cases with their own power supplies then you might be tempted to go for it because they're actually pretty good but if you see a cheap case with a cheap power supply included in it that has like a big wattage to it just run the other way run, Boris, run! so to summarize this, first, do your math and work out how much watts of power do you need for your computer. Secondly, add at least 20% on top of it so that it is good for a future upgradeability. Okay, so you can upgrade your computer down the line without having to think that, you know, oh my god, if I upgrade that car or that processor, you know, I need to buy a new power supply. Because a good power supply will last you for a really long time. And lastly, always choose a good brand. No generic crap, okay? I will link you some links to few suggested good power supplies in the video description down below in the different price brackets for different budgets so that you can check them out. So there it is, folks. That's all you need to know about power supplies, about the basics of the power supplies. So. You know, just go on, buy a well, well-known brand, good power supply, and enjoy it. And you can thank me later, and your wallet will definitely thank me later for that as well. And this is it for today. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to go crazy on that like button, right? And don't forget to subscribe to uh, stay up to date with all of the videos that, that will be coming out, all of the videos quite like this one. Until the next time, take care and game on!